I think that the Denver Broncos offense is looking a lot like, dare I say, an NFC South offense. Jerry Judy, wide receiver, you drafted 15 overall. KJ Hamler, 46 overall. Look a little bit later. You drafted tight end in the fourth round. Pair him up with Noah Fant. You've got Cortland Sutton already. You've got Melvin Gordon that you signed a free agency. You've got Philip Lindsay. I mean, this this offense, they're just building around Drew Locke. This offense is looking sexy. So I love what the Denver Broncos did with the offense, but build around Drew Locke. That's what you need to do. And I love it. Next AFC West team. The LA Chargers drafted Justin Herbert at quarterback to be their next guy behind Phillip Rivers. I think overall this was their guy this whole time. I think that if they really wanted to attack a Viloa, they're going to trade up to that number three spot, but they did it. I think that Herbert was the guy that they were honed in on, and they felt like he could be the franchise quarterback for the future. So um, Herbert is going to be uh, backing up Tyrod Taylor, maybe starting over him. We're just going to have to see what the Chargers decide to do, but I like that pick a lot. And then they trade back up into the first round to select Kenneth Murray at linebacker to that number 23 spot from the New England Patriots, who I thought was the best linebacker in that draft class. So good job uh, by the Chargers to draft Kenneth Murray. Uh, then Josh Kelly at running back. Then I have a, uh, a pick, a selection, uh, because they traded up uh, to that number 23 spot. Then I have a selection for the next two, two rounds. So in the fourth round, they select Josh Kelly and pair him up with Austin Eckler. Melvin Gordon is gone. So this might be a good one-two punch for the Chargers on top of that. It'd be interesting to see if they're going to start Justin Herbert right out the gate or if Tyrod Taylor is going to be the starting quarterback. Uh, definitely let us know your thoughts. What do you believe? Do you think that Herbert's going to start or do you think that Taylor is going to start uh, in week one? Let us know in the comments down below. The Las Vegas Raiders, a franchise that we talked about earlier that doesn't care what other draft analysts have on their draft boards. They really don't. If they love a guy, they're going to draft him with their first-round pick. That was evident last year when they drafted Cleveland Farrell, number four overall, over someone like Josh Allen, who went to the Jaguars. Now, uh, it's proven right now that Josh Allen ended up being the better option, but uh, who knows? Maybe Farrell was going to pick it up in a sophomore campaign. And that was evident in this year's draft class when, at number 19, they drafted Damon Arnett, a cornerback, which a lot of people were saying, who's Arnett? Who is this guy? But that's exactly how Mike Mayock operates. If he loves a guy, he's going to draft him. And, you know, let's see if it pans out for the Raiders. At number 12 overall, uh, a selection before that with their pick, they had Henry Ruggs as their uh, first selection by the Las Vegas Raiders in history. So a pick that Al Davis would have loved because of the speed that Henry Ruggs possesses. I love the pick. It makes the offense just much more dynamic. I don't like the inconsistency, though, uh, especially in fantasy football. That's my biggest gripe in fantasy football is I hate inconsistency. If, if I need to guess whether a player is going to have two catches for 24 yards one week or eight catches for 113 yards and three touchdowns, and it's just back and forth with that, I'm not going to even bother with it. Like, you can have them. I, I'm, I'm cool with that. But... Um, it might bring some inconsistencies with that in the uh, Oakland Raiders offense, but when you need them, like, it, it, it could pan out. So with Tyrell Williams being there as well, we believe that Tyrell Williams, I don't think he's a, I think he's better than a number two receiver, but he's not quite a number one receiver. He's like a good one and a half. So with Henry Ruggs there, maybe that's going to make both of them um, they're going to bounce off of each other and both of them are going to excel, but we'll have to see. But I love that dynamic that it brings to that Raiders offense and the possibilities that they can do. And the last team, we're going to wrap it up with the best team in the NFL uh, from last season, the Washington Redskins. Just kidding. Just making sure you're still paying attention. The Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs had an interesting draft. And a good draft, I would say. Drafting Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, the first running back taken off the board. They need help with Damian Williams because I don't want to discredit Williams. He, I believe he should have been Super Bowl MVP. But I think he's best when you have a good talent with them, when you split time. 
um, not so much as a three down back. And so I was saying, I was thinking to myself, okay, maybe like Jonathan Taylor, maybe DeAndre Swift, like these guys, they could be three down backs themselves, and maybe they could take Damian Williams' job. But if you want to split time with Damian Williams, these are good players that you could take. And we were talking about it, and we thought, well, maybe Jonathan Taylor is more suited for uh, an offense like the Baltimore Ravens, like just a ground pound uh, kind of deal. Um, and DeAndre Swift, we thought maybe the Dolphins were just going to take him in the first round. So at that point, yeah, maybe Clyde Edwards Hilaire is the best option at that point. But DeAndre Swift was still on the board, decided to pass up on him and take Edwards Hilaire. They're pretty high on him. So uh, I think this is going to be good to, to split time uh, with Damian Williams. Uh, they got Willie Gay Jr., a linebacker. And then they added a tackle, a safety, a defensive lineman, and then a cornerback as well. So the biggest pick for them, obviously, was that Clyde Edwards-Hilaire pick for the Kansas City Chiefs. 